America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, many of you might remember a few years ago, Texas tried to change the textbooks to say that chattel slavery were that they were not slaves but migrant workers y'all remember that they called them migrant workers and they also wrote in the claim that they wanted to work for free why on earth including a slave would want to work for free you ain't all that okay <laughs> you ain't all that that somebody want to work for you for, for <laughs> these people. Oh, man. And trust me, nobody wants to work for you for free, not in present day or in past times. And no, they were not migrant workers. That's a straight up lie. But you know, we know in the recent years, these folks have been running around to school boards and schools and getting in front of the faces of principals trying to argue everybody down so their history is not taught. And you know what? The way I see it, it's all in vain. I mean, who on earth don't know your history? Who on earth don't know the racism in America? Who on the planet don't know about Jim Crow, chattel slavery, reconstruction, the civil rights movement. I mean, this stuff is known worldwide. So in my opinion, you're running around in vain. And if you think you're going to teach our children your falsehoods and we're not going to be on the other end correcting that stuff, you got another thought coming. I don't care what books you snatch off the shelves. I don't care what lies you put in books like involuntary relocation, we're going to be on the other end telling our children the truth. What you going to do about it? So Texas Education Board rejects proposal to call slavery involuntary relocation. And see, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't have a wicked history, there would be nothing to hide. America is wicked from the past all the way up to present day. It is nothing but wickedness in this country. It will not be buried. It will not be hidden. I'm going to go ahead and play this audio for you. All right, here we go. Texas Education Board rejects proposal to call slavery involuntary relocation. News by Adela Suleiman. A group of educators in Texas proposed referring to slavery as involuntary relocation in second grade classes before being rebuffed by the State Board of Education. The nine educators made up one of many groups tasked with advising the Texas Board on changes to the social studies curriculum, which would affect the state's almost 9,000 public schools. Minutes of a June 15th meeting in Austin, which lasted over 13 hours, said committee members got an update on the social studies review before giving their feedback. The committee provided the following guidance to the work group, completing recommendations for kindergarten grade eight. For K2, carefully examine the language used to describe events, specifically the term involuntary relocation. Aisha Davis, a Democratic board member representing Dallas and Fort Worth, raised the wording during the meeting, which was first reported by the Texas Tribune. She told the Washington Post on Friday that when looking through a hefty package of recommendations, she saw the proposed language the group wanted to suggest, and I immediately questioned it. I am not going to support anything that describes the slave trade as involuntary relocation, she said. I'm not going to support anything that diminishes that journey. Part of the proposed draft standards for the curriculum directed students to compare journeys to America, including voluntary Irish immigration and involuntary relocation of African people during colonial times, the Texas Tribune reported in Davis confirmed to the Post. She said that such comparisons were absolutely not fair. The journey for the Irish folk is totally different from the journey of Africans, she said, adding that any comparisons will distort a lot of things in a young child's mind. 
The chair of the State Board of Education, Kevin Ellis, told the Washington Post in a statement that the board voted unanimously to send a language back to be reworked. Adding, this board is committed to the truth, which includes accurate descriptions of historical events. He said there had been no attempt to hide the truth from Texas second graders about slavery. The work group behind the recommendation included teachers, social studies specialists, instructional coaches, and a university professor, according to a list on the education agency's website. In a statement posted on Twitter on Thursday, the Texas Education Agency responded to the backlash the proposal had created. As documented in the meeting minutes, the SBOE provided feedback in the meeting indicating that the working group needed to change the language related to involuntary relocation, it said. Any assertion that the SBOE is considering downplaying the role of slavery in American history is completely inaccurate. The State Board of Education mandates policies and standards for Texas public schools, setting curriculum rules, reviewing and adopting instructional materials and overseeing some funding. It will have a final vote on the curriculum at the end of the year, according to Board Member Davis, who said it had a responsibility to adopt truthful information to prepare students for their futures. Next year, the Board will also select textbooks to match the standards they eventually adopt, she added. We have some work to do. The incident has sparked anger on social media. Former Austin and Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo called up whitewashing history and said slavery deniers are just as dangerous as Holocaust deniers. One user wrote, involuntary relocation is what happens when you lose your home in a hurricane. Not what happened during slavery. Texas's education system has been the subject of much recent controversy amid a culture war over how historical and current events should be taught. Recent policies have led to books on sexual orientation being banned, as well as those that contain material that might make students feel discomfort, guilt, anguish, or any other form of psychological distress. Last year, Republican Governor Greg Abbott signed a bill prohibiting K-12 public schools from teaching critical race theory, an academic framework centered on the idea that racism is systemic, not limited to individual prejudices, that conservatives have used as a label for any discussion of race in schools. More recently, a North Texas school district was forced to apologize after an administrator advised teachers that if they have books about the Holocaust in their classrooms, they should also include reading materials that have opposing perspectives. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, attempting to change the history because they're covered in shame about that history, which is no problem to us or our children this is a problem that they are having all by themselves. And, and who's on this committee to make these kind of changes? You can best believe none of us are on these committees. Just like you don't see none of us running around demanding books get pulled, principals get fired, teachers get fired, and all this nonsense that they're running around doing. No, we don't have to have amnesia about the, the history because you feel a certain way. There's, look, there's never gonna be amnesia about the history. All right, so you're alone on that. You're not gonna force the rest of us to have amnesia about the history. So hell or high water, our children will know the truth, whether you like it or not. And if your kids are too sensitive, those monsters aren't too sensitive for nothing. If they can take their behinds to school and be racist, they're not too sensitive for nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, you can go play your violins for someone else. We're not interested. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. My melanated parents never, ever let go of the truth. Make sure your children know it at all costs. The hell with these people, for real. Peace, family.